Subject-verb agreement can be particularly tricky when the subject of our sentence is a collective noun or a generic noun. Now, a collective noun names a class or a group. Nouns like jury, committee, or group are collective nouns. And generic nouns represent a typical member of a group, the way we might talk about the bald eagle. Let's look at some examples of how collective nouns usually function in sentences. Usually, the things described by a collective noun function as a unit and therefore are treated as a singular noun. For instance, take this sentence. The committee grants its permission for the artist to place her sculpture in the park. The collective noun committee is talking about a number of people, but they're acting as one unit to give permission for this artist to put her sculpture in the park. Therefore, the noun committee takes the singular verb grants and the singular pronoun its when talking about what it does. However, things can get a little bit trickier when the members of a collective noun, or the things described by a collective noun, function as individuals rather than as a group. Look at this example. This sentence reads, the committee put their signatures on the document. Since all the members of the committee would have to individually sign a document, and they couldn't act as a group in this case, we treat committee as a plural noun. Thus it takes the plural verb put and the plural pronoun there. Generic nouns are grammatically singular. This sentence, the black bear are remarkably strong climbers, isn't talking about a particular bear, but some member of the group, the black bear. Nonetheless, because we're only talking about one typical bear, we treat this as a singular noun, and it should take the singular verb and a singular predicate noun. The black bear is a remarkably strong climber would be the correct way to write this sentence.